Hey everybody, Tim here from Workshop 12 and we've got a bit of an update on the FRS BRZ kit. Um, so this is one we're getting uh, a lot of interest in from different people. When's it going to be ready? When can I get my hands on it? Um, and we've been running through our beta program right now. So we've been working through getting the final touches on the climb control working. We've got beta testers uh, in the field giving us feedback, giving them updates on that software, seeing how everything's working with their climb control. And things are going fairly well. I think we're getting into the final bits and pieces that we need to do there. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, so we're working along that way from a, a climate control and electronics and software perspective, which is really progressing nicely. Now, on the manufacturing side of things, one of the things and you'll be seeing a bunch of our posts that we've been putting up on Instagram and Facebook is that we've really been working on finding ways to be able to bring manufacturing costs down because Shapeways, uh, while it creates fantastic pieces that come out of there are pretty expensive. So we're trying to find ways to be able to bring more of that manufacturing in-house, but we can't compete with some of the finishes and durability and heat and temperature resistance of the materials that they use. I mean, they're running $100,000 printers over there creating these different units. Um, so one of the things that we have been working on is being able to essentially rework some of the different plastics um, for the kit um, to be able to try to bring more of that production in-house, do less of the printing with Shapeways to allow us to really kind of reduce the prices as much as we can. Um, so we're going through that process right now. So one of the things, there's, there's two different things I want to say about that. One is that's going to take us a little bit of time. So we're working through those different models. And then even when we do some test prints from Shapeways, it takes time. It can take three over three weeks to get a part back from Shapeways. We try to expedite that uh, as well. We can pay extra to expedite some of that stuff coming back. So we've been working through those things. So I think we're still probably about a month and a half off from being able to say, okay, we're ready to go. Um, in that time period, we're basically honing our machines, making sure that the pieces that we can print is working well internally. Now, one of the things that we keep hearing is, well, okay, great, but why can't I just buy what you already have, right? So you have some plastics that are available. Why can't I just get those and let us get going with that? So what we're doing is we're going to actually open it up. We're going to open up 10 different spots for being able to do that. Now you're going to say, well, this is, this is a fantastic deal, Tim. Uh, <laughs> but reality is those are likely going to be uh, more expensive than the production ones that we end up running out for everybody. Um, just because the way that those plastics are being created by Shapeways means that those prices are higher. So really our prices and the, uh, what they end up costing is really 100% related to what it costs us to manufacture these things out of Shapeways. Um, so we can offer 10 kits at what would be the full uh, you know, price if we were going to go and do production today. Now, that's with a caveat, right? Is saying, okay, well, that's great. The new plastics that we're going to be able to put out are likely going to be a little bit different um, and are going to be lower priced uh, as well. So uh, really your, your advantage is really being able to get your hands on one of these kits. If you like them the way they are and you're willing to pay the money for them, then we're more than happy to be able to ship them out. So uh, we're gonna do 10 of those. Uh, that will allow us to be able to essentially uh, do some final fine tweaking of any of the different things that we might see from the software, being able to get kind of that uh, feedback and, and being able to see how the community's uh, accepting the different climate control and everything out there because none of that's really gonna change. Really the main thing's gonna change is around the plastics themselves, again, so that we can try to bring that price down. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be offering 10 kits out there. Uh, those 10 kits are gonna be at full price, which is gonna be $729. Now, for that, you're going to get all of your plastics that are going to be in there. Uh, the majorities are going to be printed by Shapeways. We're going to print um, basically the tablet holder piece in the back ourselves in-house. Um, you're going to be able to get the climate control that comes along with that. So the replacement climate control electronics. You're going to get the uh, hazard switch and the module that replaces the uh, basically the light that shows whether or not the passenger seatbelt uh, or uh, airbag is on. Um, and then you're also going to get uh, a set of the Mark 1 electronics for the FRS. So that's going to give you a 100 watt amp that's in there. You're going to get a four port USB hub. You're going to be able to run USB and accessory at the same time. It's got a noise filter pack, uh, inline noise filter for the RCA cables. Um, so you're going to get all of that as part of that kit. And again, that's for, for 729 bucks. Um, so the way that we're going to run this program is we're going to try to make it fair. 
we don't know how many people want to take us up on that on that offer. Um, so the way that we're going to do it is for this video, what I want you to be able to do is if you're interested in being one of those 10 to get the early access to the kit, please comment on uh, this video. Um, what we'll do at, uh, we'll run this for about a week. Um, after a week is done, we're going to go through all of the comments that were put onto the video and we're going to randomly use a random number selector to randomly select 10 people, if there's that many that want to, to be able to be part of this program. Um, and then we'll contact those people and we'll work through being able to, to get you a link to be able to order the kit. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get an early access out there uh, into the community. Again, there's Unfortunately, we can't give you a price cut of being able to get it early because the fact is the manufacturing costs are high and that's where the prices all come from. Um, so we're trying to drive those down, um, but you would get the access to the, the plastics. You've seen the, the installations and the videos. They're all up there for that set of plastics and that would be the kit. Happy to support you and help you through doing any of those different installs. Um, and then we'll be keeping you up to date on the actual production uh, kit and what those are going to look like as we get through getting kind of the final models done with those and keep you in touch with all that progress. So like I said, time to start. We'll see uh, how excited. We had a lot of people saying, I don't care, just let me have access. Well, we'll see. We're going to give you access. There's an option for being able to get 10 kits. Um, so comment below and uh, we'll see how this all goes.